My name's Gwen Riley and I'm a senior lecturer in bioengineering in the material science and engineering department. Yeah, I originally trained as a biologist and when I was looking for PhD opportunities I was particularly interested in one on bones. So I started this PhD and realised that most of the tools I needed to understand bones actually were engineering tools. I needed to understand the strength of the bones and the stiffness of the bones and why they were in the certain shape they were, why they had the structure they were. So I studied engineering during my PhD to try and better understand the mechanical properties of, of the body basically. I think the problem when you're doing your A-levels, you don't really realise that engineering is an option because you don't have an A-level in engineering. I think a lot of people aren't quite sure what they want to study and they're interested in many different subjects. And if they realise that engineering is a very interdisciplinary subject in which you use the knowledge you've gained in maths, chemistry, physics and biology, they would probably be very encouraged to apply and get into engineering. It's a really good way to use your skills. It's a really good way to... Um, open your horizons in terms of job opportunities but also in terms of future research opportunities. When I first worked in the engineering department I guess I did get a bit of a shock at how few women were around. It's not really a problem unless you make it a problem so you just get on with people as people and you don't have to sort of emphasise the differences, you want to emphasise your common interests and your common goals. Most men in engineering are really, really happy to have more women in their environment and they really want more women in the environment and they'll be very encouraging and, and they like to work in a mixed group.